Hello everybody, and today I'm just gonna jump in and tell you that our audio was messed up, and as it's the first eight seconds of this video, I cannot say a cuss word. Fuck. Today's video will be Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, episode 2. I don't remember what cup, but I don't care. I cannot tell you how sad it was to realize that Diddy Kong was not in this game. Like, I literally cried myself to sleep that night. And all these other guys get to be their mains. You know, Ethan is Toad, Mario was Jayton. You know, Jesse doesn't really have a main, but he's just Donkey Kong. And I have to settle for Shy Guy. But, you know, the one without rights. Depending on how racist you want to be, technically I have not changed characters. Due to it being such a long time ago, I honestly forgot we are on the Flower Cup. But you know what? This might be a good game. Might not be. Who knows? You'll watch it, right? Right? You know, I never realized how small the Joy-Cons from the Nintendo Switch was until I tried to play Mario Kart with it. Oh, so if you notice that flickering, I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out next time we record, but... As of right now, honestly, as scuffed as it may be, um, this is the best you're gonna get for now. You know, due to the very fast intensity of this game, I don't know how to edit this. This is the first time I've done something like this. The other one was done by Ethan. So basically, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm ba 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 I hate copyright shit. I 100% deserve that, but it was worth it. And due to the very small Joy-Cons, I am unable to drift because I am in the You know a Mario Kart video is scuffed when Jesse's in first place. And now I present to you a pizza fully covered with ranch. I hope you enjoyed this image. I know I did. In my opinion, one of the best things about this game is the reactions that the characters have when they get hit by something. Unless, you know, I have just a severe case of dementia, I don't really remember it having anything like that in the Wii version. But, uh, you know, I guess it is the Wii, so why did I expect too much? I also absolutely killed his Koopas! You know, this was such a quick game that I honestly do not remember what place I finished here, but you know what, we will watch together. I do predict, though, that I'm gonna at least finish... 10th. Put these bets now. Ooh, I got three red shells, let's go. I killed Bowser with one. Somehow, Jesse's, of course, in number one, but we don't question that. You know, Ethan's number two, Jaden's number three, so they're kind of, you know, showing me up right now, but we don't talk about that. We all just got cummed on, aside from Jaden, but he also just cucked somebody. I am back in fifth place, I don't know what happened. Jesse's still somehow number one, but we don't really question that too much. Uh, Bowser kind of almost cucked me over there. I cucked myself here, kind of. You know, drifting into the wrong place. I also don't know how to drift, apparently. You know, boost into that. The fire thing was completely useless, and I was... Oh my god, I underestimated myself way too much. Well, that was a good first round. Let's hope it continues like this. And now we see Toad Harbor. With the Statue of Liberty for some reason in the background. You know, I love how the boosts in the beginning do absolute jack shit for you. Like, seriously, there's no point of actually trying to go for it, aside from, like, a 0.1 speed boost for, like, a half a millisecond. Fuck you. For some odd reason, I am somehow close to first place, and this is probably gonna be the only map I ever actually be able to do that on. I'm not foreshadowing anything, as I honestly don't remember. Oh, I hate this game already. Although one of the cool things I know about this game is that you can honestly outspeed a fucking blue shell, which honestly in the first game would be very helpful, especially right now. You know, now I'm probably gonna lose first place forever. 
a common occurrence that Peach somehow always ends up in front of me. I don't know how, but she always ends up doing it. Alright, so now that um, you know, I've ran out of stuff to do, and quite frankly, watching this gameplay is very fucking boring, considering you, know, you don't get to hear Jesse's and me scream every five goddamn seconds. So I'm just gonna be randomly playing random videos from my library, and hopefully, they're fun. Luigi! Coming for you, you know, I love it how bad I am at this game that I completely miss an entire row of goddamn boxes. Like, what am I doing right now? I should start drifting. I literally ran into a random banana. I'm probably gonna run into another one right here. Oh, no, okay, never mind. Oh, there's Peach again, son of a... This just goes to show that Mario Kart Deluxe 8 is much, much easier than, you know, Wii Mario Kart, considering Jesse's doing so good and I'm doing so horrible. Like, I literally perfected Rainbow Road, although it probably wasn't on the hardest difficulty, but we don't talk about that. I perfected it, and right now I just made a train fucking hop like it's Fortnite, you know. I'm casually gliding through the map, but I am guarantee you I'm gonna hit a random fucking banana in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I didn't hit it. Oh, never mind, there it is. So I went from first place to like seventh place because of, you know, that random banana that I always fall on. As you can tell, I'm obviously winning this by, you know, the totally legit scoreboard. How does it feel that I wasted 10 seconds of your life just for a loading screen? Make that 20, by the way. Better scramble like an egg before you get folded like an omelet, digger. You know, I really wish this game was so much more memeable. Like, I, I watch him do this and I just don't have any ideas. Like, um... Man, I, um, this is a very boring game to watch. I feel sorry for every time we did a Mario Kart Wii video. I guess we had, you know, two people having aneurysms every five seconds. I swear, I was literally in first place for the majority of these races. I just never actually finished the race first place and always end up slipping on a goddamn banana somewhere. Look right here, I'm I just got red shelled and I'm most likely going to lose. Someone's going to pass me up. Can I get a blue shell in here, please? Uh, what the fuck? Huh. The one time I talk shit about myself, you know, I actually somehow do it. Hey, yo, it's my character's map. I'm surely probably gonna do good on it, right? I think this one part of the map with the waterfall is the only part of the map that I actually kind of fucked up on. Like, this is the main part where I just cucked myself into oblivion. And no, not Skyrim. You should probably play it again. I meant it when I said this part kind of fucked me up. Because that's bullshit. What just happened to me? Like, my entire should not have fallen there. But enough with my yippee yappy. Now I'm just gonna casually, you know, let this play out, and you guys can just watch this very, very play gameplay of just the four of us. Finishing this level, I guess. I hope you enjoy it. I'll put some music on so you guys don't you know, just have to listen to this.
I don't know why, but you know what? I'm just cursed by bananas, apparently. Here are stats the first game back. I actually did much better than I expected in being fifth place under Peach. You know, Toad gets number one, Admire gets number two, and Jesse somehow gets number three. This is a really big game changer that I am not comfortable with. Anyways, that is the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please like and subscribe, or I will simply steal all of your bananas and slip on them.